the woman trying to make history, looking to become the first woman to row across the Pacific on a solo voyage. She's almost a weekend, and we spoke with her exclusively overnight. ABC's TJ Holmes is here with that for us. Good morning, TJ. Hey there, Robin. I know we can all use a little alone time sometime, but she just signed up for about six months of alone time. But get this, she's already admitting to us just six days into the journey, she's feeling a little isolation depression. And why not? She is in the middle of the Pacific right now, and the closest human beings to her are on the International Space Station. I love you. This morning, Sonia Baumstein trying to row her way into the record books. It's the biggest challenge I could ever, I think, have in life. The 30-year-old Baumstein setting out five days ago on a 6,000-mile odyssey across the Pacific, from Choshi, Japan to San Francisco, facing off against threatening seas, over 40-foot high waves, winds above 57 miles an hour, huge whales, massive freighters. The journey expected to take over 150 days to complete. Overnight, we caught up with the Washington native in the middle of the ocean via a satellite phone. And the first three days were pretty hellish. I was hit by a 30 knot storm and turned around to see a fishing vessel coming at me. A major concern for the rower, shipping traffic, even alerting a vessel in her path while we were on the phone with her. Westwood Olympia, Westwood Olympia, Westwood Olympia. Do you copy? I'm a very small vessel. You're on course with me right now. She's aboard a custom-made 23-foot, 775-pound boat with 1,200 pounds of freeze-dried food, 180 high-carbohydrate drink supplements, and a supply of olive oil that she'll drink to retain weight since she'll be burning up to 10,000 calories a day. She even gained 40 pounds before taking off in anticipation of burning it all off. It's not always one foot in front of the other. It's navigating the unknown, and there's something really incredible about that. Now, merrily rowing her boat not so gently across the ocean, her life all but a dream now. <laughs> well, sorry, Rob. We, 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 it was early in the morning. We couldn't, it wasn't creative. Uh, but no, listen to this, though. There's no trailing boat. She's out there by herself. Wow. Now doing this all alone. Six months we're talking about. She planned to do this as a pair with another guy. He dropped out. And then she said, you know what? I want to do this as a solo female trip to prove that gender is not li strength is not limited to gender. So it's good not. It She's proven not. something. But wow. there's one question everybody had. How she used the bathroom? Do you oh, want to ask? No, I didn't nobody want to know? Y'all don't want to know? <laughs> no. Don't want to know? That's fine. I'll we, keep it. What's we, up? We, we were good, TJ. Okay. Yeah, you can tweet TJ if you really want to know. <laughs> He'll tell you. Buckets, okay? Let me just say buckets. Oh, no. <laughs>